Hi, I'm Chris Monk, owner of Highline Guitars, and this is how I used an X-Car from Inventables to make a guitar neck and fretboard. I started by making a full-size 3D model in Rhinoceros 3D. All of my design and toolpath work was done on a Mac. The finished model was exported as an STL file and opened in MeshCam where toolpaths were created and saved as basic G-code. The G-code was sent to the X-Car via a Windows laptop using Universal G-Code Sender. For the next shaft I used Eastern Rock Maple, 5 inches wide, 30 inches long, and 1 inch thick. For the fretboard I used Cataloche, which is 3 inches wide, 22 inches long, and a quarter inch thick. I started the neck shaft by milling four quarter inch diameter holes to be used with my pin alignment system. A pin alignment system uses steel pins in the wasteboard to ensure that the milling that's done on one side of the blank will line up with the milling that's done on the other side. With the blank secured to the wasteboard using pins and clamps, I proceeded to mill the truss rod slot with a 1 8 inch end mill. After changing to a quarter inch end mill, the x carve milled the shape of the headstock. The board was then flipped over on the pins and the back contour was roughed in using my quarter inch end mill. A fine finishing path was performed to smooth out the tool marks left by roughing in the contour. Holes for the tuners were then cut into the headstock with an 8 inch end mill. With the CNC work done, the blank was moved over to my bandsaw so I could cut the tabs and release the milled neck from the blank. A hole for access to the truss rod adjustment nut was drilled by hand. To make the fretboard, most of the G-code was created in Inventable's own web-based easel software program. I started by cutting fret slots with a tiny and very fragile 24 thousandths inch diameter end mill. This allowed me to cut blind fret slots. Blind fret slots stop short of the fretboard edges which gives the fretboard a smooth clean look without the sharp tangs sticking out. After changing to a 1 16th inch diameter end mill, I cut holes for the fret marker dots. Later, these holes will be filled with white clay and sanded flush with the surface of the fretboard. Since the fretboard of an electric guitar isn't flat, I used a 1 8 inch diameter end mill to rough cut a 12 inch radius along its length. A finishing pass followed with the same bit in order to refine and smooth the radius. Finally, the X-Carve cut the outer perimeter of the fretboard, leaving tabs that I could slice off later with my bandsaw. At this stage, all that was left to do was some finished sanding, drop in the truss rod, glue on the fretboard, and install some frets.